Hello everyone, Mason X here. Welcome to the Linga tutorial, lesson 1, initial setup. Now to start, you want to make sure you already purchase, download and install the link on Steam. Just search the link on Steam and the first result should be it. Now you want to scroll down and read what is early access software, read the description and also check out the system requirements. Once you have done everything, you can happily add the link to your cart and proceed. Now please be noticed, the, the link will be categorized as a software in your Steam library, so if you have a lot of games, you may want to add the link to your favorite, so you can easily find it like what I did here. And also make sure you download the correct English version. Now, after everything has been checked, we click Launch. If it's your first time start the link, it might take some time to initialize. Just uh, be patient. And after you start, yes, you can hear this beep noise, it means it's already. Try to establish a physical connection from your camera. So it can send keyboard and the mouse inputs in. This is for you to watch the tutorial, so we're just going to cl close this window. If everything goes alright, you should be able to see your camera here. Hello, who is this? And if you can't find your camera, you may want to click this icon and select the correct camera. If you can't even find your camera in this list, you may want to check your cameras connection also uh, try to check out the camera software if you are using the correct setup and uh, then you want to check out click this it will open Windows setting check out if the system language is English and uh, for some Windows system you may don't have the voice package installed so uh, it will somehow affect the voice recognition here so you want to uh, click add voice and add the English voice package. If you can't add here, you can also download it from Microsoft official website. And uh, normally you don't need to change anything here, just to make sure. And, uh, then you want to click the microphone icon. Make sure uh, the link will use your system default microphone. So you want to make sure you have a workable microphone that can hear you from a certain distance. Okay, after everything goes down, we click. Okay, now if everything goes alright, you should see a transparent window hover over here. And let's say the magic word. System activate. Motion detection activated. Now you should see blue lines all over your body and they will move with you. Right? It will move with you. And here is your frame rate when running motion capture. It is actually depends on your CPU and your camera frame rate. And currently the max supported frame rate is 60. System off. System off. Now if you can't, if your if your system activate does not work. You want to go to setting here and click system voice. You scroll your mouse to bring the similarity down and test it. Capture. Capture detected. If it's still not working for you, you may want to change the words to some words that easier for the system to recognize. The voice detection actually will largely affect by how good your microphone is. So um if you can wear a uh, like Bluetooth microphone ear earports, uh, I think it should work really great. And because I'm recording video, I will be keep talking, so I want to bring the similarity up a little bit. So um, just click save, and uh, you need to restart the software for the new setting to work. Okay, now let's try to build our first new link. Now here is you can add and delete links the link one link is one basic unit in the link it is basically uh, something that will link your real world moves with your in-game characters by create a keyboard 
and the mouse input like here we press the left button which is we double click here rename it which is light attack in Elden Ring and we click add pose we are uh, we use the default setting just to only track the right arm okay you should see a blue line over your right arm. If your right and the left are reversed, you may want to flip your camera in the camera settings. And now let's just raise our right arm and say capture. Post captured. And now you can see a percentage over here. It's called a similarity. It means the similarity between your current right arm state and the right arm state when you tell the software to capture it. Okay. You can see when it's reaching 99%, it will try to press the left mouse button. Save data! Save it. Okay, you can actually adjust the similarity by scroll your mouse wheel here. Okay, now let's save and go. We switch it to Elden Ring. System activate. Motion detection activated. Now we can raise our right arm, naturally swing down, right? For an attack. Swing down. Swing down. System off. System off. Okay, that is the basics of the link. Let's quickly go through the remaining buttons. This is uh, for you to start to add a new page for better categorize your links. And for example, in this movement page, you, we can add all the links, control the movement, and each page can be dynamically enabled or disabled for you to better control uh, your motion, your motion capture template. And uh, this button is for you to start a new mode, or the current unsaved mode will be cleared. So be careful with this button. And this is for save, of course, and this is to load already saved modes okay that's basically it for the initial tutorial initial setup tutorial and in our next tutorial i will go through the building of a complete control of a game here we're gonna use elden ring and uh, but it is actually very basic controls like movement or the attacks drink a potion maybe so you can use it in any other games and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.